All right, everybody. Well, it's I, Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, coming to you out of Boise, Idaho, just wrapping up the uh, Chrysler Concorde 2.7 liter timing and water pump uh, removal and replacement. As you can see, I've got the valve covers back on today, and everything's coming together nicely. I still need to get the timing cover back on and all that other stuff. I've already got my plugs back in. So there's really not much left to do here, but just kind of bolt everything back on. I'm kind of just cleaning everything up as I go and getting it all back together. Uh, but where this puts me now is actually uh, back at an issue that I started off with. If you look at uh, one of the previous videos on this job, uh, this vehicle at one point had taken a blow from the front uh, or it hit something. And so it, it had bent my AC condenser and kind of pushed it back in my radiator and it was hard to get that out uh, without causing any damage and so what I had done and this is what I love about working out of my home you know I'm just I'm just one man here now I've been doing this for 17 years and I have some extensive experience in this but uh, you know I'm just here trying to trying to feed the four babies take care of the wife and stuff so I don't have a massive overhead so, uh, with such a unexpected repair coming up, um, what I was able to do is I was able to work out with the customers, uh, going ahead and buying a new one at which, yes, that means that I had to discharge the AC system. I had to evacuate it and I'll have to pull the vacuum and I'll have to add Freon. But again, I don't have a huge overhead to cover. And so we were able to, to work the, the finances out on that. They've been very patient with me, and they've been real understanding customers, and they've understood that this has been a big job. So, so that's what I love about doing this. Now, getting this out while it was bent was kind of a hard task because it kept getting hung up on stuff. And the reason why I wanted to get a new one uh, when I reinstalled was because I didn't want to damage anything installing. If you look here, connected... To the AC condenser, this is an this is a little little bitty automatic transmission cooler, and if you notice, it did. There upon uninstall, I didn't notice this until I went to go ahead and uninstall this off of here, and uh, reinstall it onto this one. I noticed that it did get damaged upon uninstalling. So. Um, my uh my customers had had worked out and gave me some money in order to buy this and the good news is is this guy is not that expensive and so i'll be able to go this afternoon and uh pick up one of these um brand new and then just go ahead and install this brand new as well as a brand spanking new transmission cooler so although it is taking a little bit extra time uh some of these new parts that are getting installed at wholesale prices are kind of a perk to everything so so there you have it folks uh nothing too much more exciting to report on the chrysler and um, we'll just uh, keep moving forward from here